Hello and welcome to Tuxedo Plants. Here I am with a peek at my planner graveyard. Earlier I was telling you about those planners that did not work for me uh, and I just abandoned them halfway through. It's not completely abandoned but some of them have been repurposed. Some of them are sporadically used and such. Now let's begin with my um, law of attraction planner. This was the most, you know, religiously used planner that I had that I was working with for half year. Until July, I should say until June, this was working so much for me. It still would work. It's not the mistake of the planner. It's not the mistake of any planner because all of these systems are actually good. It's my own ability to stay with them and my ability to or my um, ability to stop the temptation of trying other systems or trying other sizes, etc. That's what's causing all this. So anyway, I began the year with this planner for a specific purpose, which is to finish this one. And I had to make sure I was spending enough time um, with that. So every time what did not happen, I would do a good review of the month. Um, the year started off bad with sickness at home and D had COVID and then we all felt sick. Somehow I, you know, um, I understood what was going on. Every time I did this kind of a review of the month, it became clear to me what I have to do, um, what was stopping me from doing the number one problem, motivation to study. I brainstormed about it, exercise and hydration, food. How? So this entire month was a fail. I would say I, I would try next month. This was actually uh, an exercise that was helpful and it was also catering to my creative um, urges and, you know, uh, the satisfaction of having a planner that actually serves me. So what happened? What happened was summer happened because every time um, July and August hit, every year this happens, I either... I take a long trip, like I go to, I travel, I go usually travel to India during that time and I have no time to keep up with anything and those two months get, you know, em like empty, I don't touch the planners, and then there's no motivation to get back and continue, so I change the planners, that's what ha that's what has been happening. Um, this year, it was different, I didn't travel anywhere, but I got too busy with my daughter's performance and summer camp the workshop that she went that i had to drive her back and forth so in july i used this book as just you know something to just whatever i could i did and this is my birthday week um i love what i did with this I had um, Shine Sticker Studio birthday kit with me. These are some beautiful stickers, like very cute ones. I didn't do any monthly planning, nothing. And in August, some health setbacks set in and then I just couldn't do anything. So I just stuck some things and I said I have like a perimenopause stuff going on. This week was, you know... I was still bleeding at least and then next I had all sorts of ups and downs and then we went to the beach and um, the next week was also bad. September is not done and October not done. So I would say this is a partial success that I kept this up until now and there's nothing stopping me from starting November and continuing to go back and you know use the planner in various different ways that I have used previously 
like this you know journal thick magazine things um or just plainly go and you know back plan i mean there's nothing wrong with that too so i may do that so that's what this is at this is at that stage where it's ready to be picked up anytime and you remember this actually this was in a file of facts cover and because i needed many more inserts i uh, shifted my personal rings to motor um, cover i don't know if this is lux or the other one but this has a fly leaf and a second pen loop i enjoyed setting this up i was giving it my all i did my gratitudes and my file of facts thing and i took off all the inserts there were many inserts that i took them off i i invested in uh, you know various these are all old but this i made myself um you know golden girls and gilmore girls what is this called dashboard and page marker and everything and then what happened let me go to the monthly monthly has been used until july i think april was good may was good june nothing july has been good and that's it it's all pointing towards july and august because that's when um i had this very busy schedule after which i couldn't keep up anything and then i started to use these inserts as um talks from heart robin used to suggest that is to write one word about the day and when i did partially and i did do that and then just stopped some amount of meal planning something you know some things that i did but the thing now is that these inserts are actually i love these inserts and that's the thing i like everything as i told you every system has its own benefits and they're all very joyful and i give it my all so i like everything and that's a dangerous place to be so i wanted to continue doing the gratitude in this and that's why i still have these these inserts are i love this paper i mean and on any day if i have to repurpose a file of facts insert in a file of facts planner i would and it's one of my favorite so have i got any weeklies put in for october no i just have the monthlies i may mean, just do the monthlies or you know think of doing gratitude in this that's my current um thought process that i would do gratitude in this the next one is this which you remember it's franklin covey classic size now in this these were my inserts i was very like very much on top of it until july um i back planned the whole year in fact and august came out like this um i took off these inserts because I was bulking it up i would say i mean um my husband was sick temple in the evening dinner at somebody's place back to school shopping went to temple on the sunday is equal to fun day we had a beach day so this was actually not bad at all i used them in several ways that i can think of these were not wasteful um i wouldn't say august was the month that i abandoned this planner quite used all the inserts <clears throat> but september on i don't think i did anything when setting this up i was so excited i really did want to use this i had everything like the values and whatever they ask us to do i did them 
my problem i understood in fact i even did the october monthly in here the problem with this i put october november and december so that i can go back plan and do some things in here this this is the problem this is a lot of space for a single day and i don't um i don't need this much and given the fact that i do the morning pages and you know all the other things elsewhere or in a separate notebook even if i had to bring everything in here it was too much for me i tried that i tried bringing in my faith my trackers and everything in this page for that day just didn't happen it wasn't i wasn't resonating with it and this is tonya plants inserts i love these inserts i haven't even used one these are undated so i could use it whenever i wanted it starts at 5 am and ends at 12 am i like that it has earlier hours i get up early in the morning at least i try to so <clears throat> i have october november and december put in here uh, with the hope that i'll do something with it and there's this reading journal and uh, notes and everything i even customize all these dashboards for myself um uh, from a store oh god this is so i mean there's so many pretty things what can i do so i the re the reason why i put in october november and december is to have fun with it when i'm able to if i i'm not using it i can still uh, not as a plan i can still have fun with it by doing collages uh you know one thing i used to do earlier when my daughter was younger was have her draw and i also drew on the inserts so that would be a beautiful memory for us but she's she's a teen now she's not ready to do any of that so that was franklin kavi and in the i mean i won't say this is in the graveyard this was graveyard is this which i have abandoned all these other three things i didn't abandon them as such i repurposed them at one point and now they're just sitting there waiting to be repurposed i call it that only because truly what i do use i keep i keep and use them that's been my thing even old inserts i don't let them go waste if i really want to donate them i donate them or give them away or give it to my daughter for her to use i never just you know throw blank papers that's just not i'm a paper person i i write a lot so they will be used so this one is not a member of the graveyard as such but uh, one of the most loved most used wonderful wonderful planner that i had started in march i think yeah march to july is it july or june this is july yeah march to july i had fun doing this i had fun using this um I have a few pages left but I've been using them for brainstorming and such. So this is one other planner that actually was used I won't say it's a graveyard planner. And then from my old ones I have a few very old ones 2021. This is one of the 2021 journals which I had to stop because opening this gives me a glimpse of what i was going through during this time and it wasn't pleasant it was the time when i um, lost my parents and i do not want to throw this for one reason that all these experiences that we have grief loss and other supposedly negative experiences build character they show our strength they show how much we depended on god during that time to navigate through the hard times and you're left with gratitude at one in one angle so i don't want to say i'll just burn all this and just not think of it i would say i look back on it um, with gratitude with 
God in my mind that he was during dark times he was with me while I was going through all this so I don't want to throw this so I've been using this as a um, stream of consciousness kind of uh, book where I just scribble my notes when I think of it this one is an old one 2021 um, horizontal um, traveler's notebook planner but I had been using it uh, for my scripture studies um, these are fully prepped like fully prepped look at the pages so it's been easy for me to go back and finish them I almost there are only a few pages I'll quickly finish them I know so these are from my uh, planner graveyard very old ones and um, let me look at this one and this one this one I think is a monthly I don't know what I'll do with a monthly with this few blanks does anyone have any ideas? Because I don't want to waste this. Let me see. I have October 2021 and I just stopped it. Oh, so many months remaining. More than six months remaining. So, I don't know. what I, I, I may use it as a calendar. It's undated. I could do it. But I don't know how to use it. That's why it's, it's sitting there. And this one is one of those wandering, I think, notebooks. It's not a traveler's notebook, but from uh, another brand. Um, this one was 2022. October, November, December. What's with me in September, October, November, December? I, I seem to have changed my planners during that time. Oh, no time manage time better prioritize the list the whole of this year I've been saying that prioritize this and I never did oh yeah I think I, I finished it I finished a contract and I joined back the client on December 1st during that time I worked until april or march they ended my contract i was on a break for two more months and then joined them back in june or may 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 2022 and then i think may i joined them back in may I remember correctly and then I've been working here more than a year now so I still have a lot of pages this will also be used because these are lined I like lined notebooks I like cream I like cream paper so these will be my notes pages or whatever what else do I have that's it and I have preserved this thing from my from my daughter um i've moved this from planner to planner to planner and they, <laughs> these are two goats and a pumpkin i think she was she was eight or seven when she gave me this these have moved from planner to planner to planner every time october hits i just keep this this makes me very very happy you know that's one of the joys of being a mom, but that this stage has passed and I really do miss those days when she used to um, draw stuff and give it to me. So that's about it. The, these are the planner graveyard um, entities. What I'm going to do is I'm going to revive them this Halloween season from the graveyard and try to use them in various ways it doesn't have to be a planner it could be anything so uh, my effort would be to use these especially this law of attraction i could just still just get in and just start whenever i wanted these i might have to find alternative uses for them uh, i hope you love i hope you love this um share 
and i hope you're all having a great week and um, wishing you all a great weekend i'll meet you soon with another video until then bye